Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here as always. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick little video about this mock that I made a very long time ago. And you might be thinking to yourself, hey, that looks a lot like an X-Wing. Well, you'd be right. This is actually a Z-95 Headhunter, which later became the X-Wing that we know. Um, and before you say anything, yes, I do know there is an official Lego set of the Z-95 Headhunter that looks nothing like this. Well, my explanation for that is that I made this based off of the pictures in this book, which is from 1996. Uh, and I built this well before the Clone Wars series came out, which is what introduced us to what most people know the Headhunter to look like. Um, and also, it's it's a mock. It, don't expect it to have you know color coordinated stuff. I built this out of what I had on hand. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I'm doing a video on this now because I am trying to rebuild all my other sets, all the official ones. And so this guy, after this video is being taken apart. Um, and I wanted to go over it while it was still here. Um, like I said, looks a lot like an X-Wing and it essentially is an X-Wing. I built this using the same build techniques, mostly, especially right here in the front, as the official uh, LEGO X-Wing set that was available at the time. Um, there's not much detail back here because it doesn't. the designs here don't show you the back. I'll show you what's in the book later. Um, but for all intents and purposes, it's just a very simplified X-Wing um, with just some different details and stuff. All right, so now that you've seen that, let's show you this. So it is my understanding that the Z95 that we see here is based off of concept art for the original design of the X-Wing, which I believe would have been done by Ralph McQuarrie. He's the, the main concept artist. And so, as you can see, very much like an X-Wing. I believe this would have been the concept art that would have been changed to become the X-Wing and then later would have been reused as something else which would then in turn also become an X-Wing. So it kind of goes full circle and it's pretty nice. So you have the same number of engines, only two lasers and only two wings. And you've got this very kind of bulbous uh, back end here and it's a lot wider in the body right there than your traditional X-Wing. And so I'm sure you can see how you know, thick it is here and kind of bulging at the top. I tried to emulate that, which I think I did a fairly decent job considering I was using parts from the early 2000s. You know, I, f I feel like I did a decent job. Um, if you guys can find a copy of this book, it's mostly, well, not mostly, it's entirely original trilogy vessels and then stuff from the extended universe. You know, pre-Disney stuff, pre-Clone Wars era stuff. There's you got a whole lot of stuff in here. Um, for example, you got the E-Wing. This is where the E-Wing was from. Where are we? Almost there. Come on. There we go. This is the Ewing that we all know now. This is basically the original design. Uh, we just got the Ahsoka series set where it has this and Shin Hati's um, fighter. And this is literally the design they use for it. Uh, we've actually already had an Ewing set before, and that was one of the... The Lego Star Wars shows with Jack 14, he has an E-Wing. That was before that Ahsoka set, the only E-Wing we've had. There's a whole bunch of other stuff in here. Like right here, you got the Interdictor. They later introduced this in, back into canon. So there's a bunch of like hidden stuff in here. And this is all from the original trilogy novels, which I have all of them. And like that was the basis of Star Wars to me was the all those extended universe novels. I really love them. Um, 
But that's all I'm going to say on this video. So, uh, you know, if you liked it, like it. If you uh, wanted to see some more stuff out of this book, I can probably show you guys. I don't have anything else from it built. I don't plan on building anything anytime soon. Uh, but it's pretty interesting. I'm sure you could probably find it online. It's like a digital scan. Um, but this thing's going goodbye. And uh, that's, that's all I got to say. See you guys.